Hello everyone, this is JLS1114. This is a video response to Metal Migrant. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I just realized he made this about a month ago. I just realized I had a video response to my video entitled The Disabled The Disabled Dating Debate. Um, so I should check part two. Uh, to see if there's also a video response on that. Um, for those of you who may not know, before I go more in depth with, uh, with where I'm going to go with this video, um, and you haven't seen it, please go check out part two of uh, the disabled dating debate. Um, my brother um, <clears throat> talks in that one. Uh, basically, from his point of view, he has a different disability. And it's a guy's point of view, and um, where mine is more physical, um, you can tell right off the back, my brother's can be hidden, <clears throat> so it really changes a lot, and you hear his perspective. So, um, um, so please go check that out if you haven't checked out part two of my brother's side of things, okay? Um, anyway, moving on in this video, in the video response to Metal Migrant, he touched on something in the video response that I would like to elaborate on more, because I definitely know where he's going with this, um, and I hate it myself, <laughs> um, I really, really do. Um, the theory that a disabled person should end up with an abled body person. Uh, my fam um, families tend, families of disabled people tend, um, at least in what I have seen, my own personal experience, and um, well, my family doesn't really say it, but I can tell that's what they really feel, should I say. Um, and, you know, people have hidden ways of showing it. And I have seen it from other people that I know in their families. They rather, family and friends, they rather you go out with someone who's able to. Body, if you're disabled. And he hit it right on the head, hit the nail right on the head when he said, well, you know, doesn't that seem like it doesn't really become a relationship anymore. It's more of a caregiving thing. That's exactly the reason why um, some families and friends of the disabled individual will feel that way. That's exactly what they're looking for. They're not really thinking so much into the, the love factor of things and if you're happy or whatever. They're seeing, oh, you can be taken care of and, um, you know, when I'm gone, when I'm not around, here's somebody else who will, um, you know, the weight will be lifted off my shoulders, uh, so to speak, uh, because, because of that, um, you know, because there was somebody who's able to body, I mean, I hear this a lot, <laughs> you know, uh, different experiences, uh, you know, people that I know, I mean, this constantly, constantly, constantly happens. This theory is big time out there of that the able should be of the disabled. Um, but one, most of the time, the people who are saying this have they don't understand what we go through and why we go through it. And you know, there's the you know, if basically it's one of those things. If you are not walking in our shoes. There's just some things you're just not going to get. No matter how much you think you will, you, you're just not. So, to come out and say, well, you know, a disabled should be with, you know, you should be with an abled person. One, you're thinking along the wrong, you know, context of things, which is they are thinking more caregiving than anything. And two, like Metal Migrate also said that I 100% agree with, is, and I have stated this in my first, uh, my video, 
that, you know, you love somebody, you love somebody, despite if they're disabled, like you, or um, non-disabled, um, able body. you know, you're in love, you're in love, despite what they are. I mean, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, like, the whites should all stay with the whites. It's wrong if you, uh, you know, you know, white dates a black, you know. I mean, and if you really want to mix, you know, where they're saying that able should be really disabled, it's almost like back in, you know, a, a, you know, nowadays a white should be with a black because if white was with a black, um, you know, uh, since whites has more power, maybe blacks would have more benefits. I mean, as messed up as that that sounds, I mean that that's just another context. I mean, in a way, you're saying that, you know, um, and that's wrong. That's not love anymore. It, it's really like on the wrong thing. I mean, people are not one. People who come up with these theories back to the disabled, dating, and able-bodied person, um, they're not thinking of your happiness. And if you're, you know, if you really are happy. No, and you know, as Metal Migrate said, it leaves you, you know, <laughs> it leaves you with very few, you know, pickings really. You know, the able body don't really. So that's nothing people are not thinking of. They don't realize how hard, you know, we have it. I mean, not that you know, we're here to like whine or complain or whatever. It's just that, um, the, um, excuse me. it's just that we just want to, it's not as easy as it sounds, and to go out there and just meet people in general, never mind people thinking, well, you know, you just, it, plain and simple. If I love you, I love you. You're able body or you're not able body. But is it easier I feel to be with someone who's disabled? Yes. But do I do I go out and say, Well, you're not disabled, so I don't wanna be with you? No. One, to me it would be a miracle if an able bodied person that I actually liked um, liked me back. <laughs> um that very really happens. But, you know, if it did, you know, it did. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I, I really do hate when people are like, well, you're disabled, you should be an enabled body person. Yeah, thanks for choosing my life. And you're really not thinking about it if I'm happy and I'm um, uh, You're really not. Uh, you know, just can't stress out enough. And it's. It's a shame. It really is. So, uh, well, what what is a big thing? Though? You know, just no matter if you're with someone who is able-bodied and you're disabled, or you're both able-bodied or you're both disabled, a lot of the same similar relationship issues may and can occur. I've only met with people who are disabled, and even though I find that they understand me a lot more. I have had no success with anybody, you know, I've had uh, lots of issues, you know, and I'm single right now, and, um, you know, it's, if I find someone, I find somebody, you know, but I've been through a lot with, uh, people, despite staying with someone who's disabled, uh, or trying to, you know, um, still can have, still can have its complications, and I've had many, and I've uh, been very hurt. Numerous situations, well, not numerous, and it's not like that, I only remember a couple of people, but, you know, uh, situations that arose from each person, you know, um, and I've had like three or four people, but a lot had happened. You know, um, so now you know if I find someone, I find somebody. But 
right now, I'm just concentrating on life and seeing where it takes me. Um, working on moving and getting a dog, which is what, what guy dog school this Tuesday, and you know, other goals. I mean, a guy along the way, despite what their ability status is, well, cool. But uh, anyway, that's what I have to say, and um, thank you, little metal migrate. Thank you everyone for watching, and bye.